Boom. I don't need to say it. We know why I'm here. Why are you here? I don't know. To be honest. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm pretty funny, huh? Okay, there's the seed. We start with blood rights. I look very concerned, but I think that's just because analog stick, the eyes are getting covered by my hair. But it looks like I have eyebrows. I'm like, oh, dude, this is... <laughs> this is not good, man. We... I'm worried, man. <laughs> okay, we got a red heart there. Let's um, let's just clear the floor. Let's just see what we've got cooking. Maybe I want to use blood rites. Maybe the enemies in here get annoying. Who knows? Blood rites, for the most part, is probably gonna be pretty buns. It does a full heart of damage. That's just pretty unacceptable. <laughs> um, like in the grand scheme. Oh, that didn't even hit this tinted rock. Oopsie daisy. I got so excited that I knew where the... I should have just put the bomb right here. And I would have got that. Dang. I didn't uh, didn't do a good job there. So that's blood rights for you. I just thought I'd show show her off. Just because I... Well, I can. Um, let's talk. Let's talk. The, sp the stats here. Speed. Uh, speed is, I guess, a little below one. Maybe that's a problem. I mean, if I don't get a speed up, it's a problem. But that's always going to be the case. Whether or not I'm uh, a 0.88 or 1 or 0.9 or... Basically, once I get in like the 0.7 range is when it's like a noticeable decrease. Especially on those first few floors. So, we're, we're good on that. Honestly, we're pretty set on that. Tears is great because we got analog stick. Which, okay, unicorn stuff is just better. Unicorn stuff is 100% better. Invincibility. On every on every room. Oh man, champion belt and humbling bundle. So okay, I'm looking now. At, so tears is great. We got analog stick as our starting item, which is a tears up, which would be um, what I believe is the reason for such a good tier rate. We can also shoot diagonally now. Is the boon of analog stick. So I'm doing that. Um, our damage is a little low, and our range is a little low. So synth oil would be like the great, the great equalizer here. Oh, okay. Headless horseman on the first floor. Um, who do you mess with first? Probably the head, right? No, we can't fly. So, um, the pony is good, man. Um, the problem is Unicorn Stump is also really good, but doesn't give me flight and a speed up, which Headless Horseman's pony would do. And to be honest with you, that's just so much better. Oh dang, that's good invincibility, and you'd be able to play any Blood Bank in the world with that. But the, the result... Yeah, we, we get into Curse Rooms for free. Yeah, I think the pony is the... Oops. I think the pony is a good pickup here. Hey, alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh, I really wish I hit that tinted rock now. That was a bit of an oopsie. Woo! Let's try 100% chance for a bomb. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Nah, I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, we can get Game Boy Bug now. No problems with you, GB Bug. Let's go ahead and do some re-rolling. Hey, hey! Game Boy Bug! Wow. Wow, that was terrible. Game Boy Bug, that's not on you. I mean the... I mean, honest to Pete, the Tinted Rock was terrible. Unicorn Stomp. <sighs> I wish we could have kept you. I wish we could have kept you, but um, the Pony's the pony's really good, especially on Basement 2, for goodness sake. To get Flight 1.5 speed, we basically almost doubled our speed there. That's, I mean, that's, that's pretty significant. All right. 
there's definitely offensive potential for the pony in a way that I'm actually going to try saving at least one charge for the boss. So if we see the boss, I'm just going to kind of go in. Missing no, or sorry, no, it's not missing no. It's missing no is what the textures remind me of. Brain worm, yeah, that's fine with me. Responds to lost on death? A respawn? Is that better than brain worm? Brain worm is goaded with the sauce, though. I mean, seriously. Ah. Uh, I love a uh, brainworm is honestly so good. I don't, I don't even know if a respawn, like an actual, like a free respawn with a trinket there. I don't know if it's worth it. Is it lost with holy mantle? Because it's lost with holy mantle, then I would actually have to take it. That's just too good to pass up. Ooh. Found the shop. Is there ooh, is there any point in going into that? I don't know. Not yet. Big big second floor, and I probably should not be checking the map when I'm still conducting business. I almost just got hit by a dingle. Boy, I'm hungry. I'm honestly kind of hungry. I might, I might pause this run and eat something to be real with you at some point here. Cause I get hangry sometimes, and I don't want to just start molding on for no reason. Secret room's got to be north of here. I just got that feeling. Got that Friday night funkin' feeling. Did I even go in the shop? No. For one penny, we could get something cool. Yeah, like that penny. That penny's pretty sweet. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. It's actually Conquest Pony that does the good damage. The regular pony is just kind of mid, actually. It's probably good against, like, Larry Jr., though. And other, you know, rooms where I just need to do some chip damage, but... Definitely not as good as Conquest Pony. Now I know. I don't need to say it for a boss anymore. That's what I learned. Hmm. Damage and range, right? Sure. Book of Sin. I actually don't really want it. Let's make Mom stand on some fire. Oh, I timed. Oh no! There we go. Got you, mom. I don't really want Book of Sin, personally. <laughs> uh, GD Bug is trolling me. I think. I'm pretty sure I'm getting trolled right now. All right, that was a great pay out there. Well, lesson learned, the pony's not that great against big single target enemies, but it's probably alright against... Probably okay against enemies like this if you hit them. <laughs> They're, it's not so good if you don't hit them, I don't know. There we go, there's the bomb. Kidney bean. I really wish we wouldn't get a space bar item. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet if we could get something to work out. Oh my god, this floor is humongous. Shot him over the rock and killed him. Well, I don't have spectral, so that didn't go so good. I'm trying to recover that body. We are slowly collecting enough money to get a premium item from the shop. Oh. 
Now I'm glad that Penny didn't reroll, huh? <laughs> okay, good. We did get a secret devil. Uh, yeah. That whatever this room is. We got one of them. Fast travel. Oh. Ooh, we got a chest. Uh, hello. What is with the game today? It does not feel like the game's giving me very much slack. Ventricle Razor. Honestly, I, I really can live without it, so. I'm the greatest. Okay, let's say we have to take one. I'm going all orange. Oh. That one, that one doesn't feel good. Um, Isaac, I don't like that one. Bird cage. <laughs> Come here, bird cage. Well, our only stat that was, um, you know, really kind of keeping us strategically involved uh, was our tears, but because some, some dummy took a pill, <laughs> it uh, was indeed the prophesied tears down. Seeing us kill these worms so slowly doesn't spell success for the rest of the floor. So we got to make sure we take care of our X's and O's here because it might not get any easier. Golden Bomb just might have saved the day. I mean, of course it's dramatic, but I could use it offensively now. And, oh my god, man. How many of those are there going to be? No, I don't want to know. Don't tell me. Alright, let's take care of one zone at a time. Okay, now we'll deal with this bozo. <laughs> Oof, duh. Tell you what, I really should not have taken that pill. <laughs> They can shoot bombs out of the way, that's fancy. Seeker room could be above this room here. I just, you get that feeling. Good thing I uh, good thing I got a golden bomb. All right, I should be able to find the secret room eventually. It ex if it actually exists, it's not just theoretical here. We do have enough money for the shop, which is really good news. Doing a good job, um, you know, just kind of dodging here, keeping us in this one. Rainbow worm. Blip. Blip. Okay, there's the second <laughs> It's poop. Uh, okay. Fanny pack, I mean, you, you could be good. How good? I don't know. Here we just gotta kill one. There we go. Hmm. Well, we know our tears down pill, so. Balls of steel being in there is good news. It's good for business.
I mean, this floor is just big as heck for what reason exactly? Let's find that second secret, or that first secret room, sorry. I have no clue where it is though. I feel like I checked everywhere on my way here, so it's probably behind me. Oh boy, it's gonna be a reality check without this golden bomb next floor, oh my god. Play the game with them and see who kills who. <laughs> oh, Wrath, you silly boy. Here's a synergy for you. If you have a golden bomb, you can use Mr. Boom and all those space bright items infinitely on the floor. Um, the secret room has to be, like, on the here somewhere, but... Okay, it's in a weird spot, because all these bombs are from when I was doing stuff. Is it right here? No, there's a mushroom right there. Is it right there? No. What? Are you kidding me? Speed. Ooh. Hold the phone. Secret room. Where are you? That's what I should have done before the uh, boss fight, by the way. I just forgot. I just have to assume I've hit it, and then... I've looked everywhere. place it can be is in between the sacrifice room and the curse room now. Wow. Wow. That was brutal. Ooh. Really want that damage back. Alright. Well, that is the... That is not... Where I would have expected it, ever. Clearly, is the is the last place I could have bombed. Actually, that's how so much faith I had in it being there. Oh, and I told myself to watch out for that red poop, but I just forgot. <laughs> All right, well, here's where Phantom Pack comes alive, right here. There you go, Phantom Pack OP. All right, let's get to work. Nice. Two golden chests. A little underwhelming, but we got more keys than we paid.
Okay. Ooh. Karma. Nice. Okay, hold on. If there's a donation machine, you know, that you, you could pick up karma and start doing some of that good Mr. Beast type. <laughs> Just donate all our money. This room looks kinda cool. If I didn't have flight, I'd think it would not be so cool, but... Get rid of all the flies on that pony charge. It's a pony, I'm just gonna be, I mean... It, you smoke it while you got it, you know? It's not going to be carrying us any further than flight. Hmm, spider mod. And lovers, the lovers. Let's go ahead and, I think that's two bone hearts. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hollowed ground. Woo! Could be good. Okay, we gave ourselves the best chance <laughs> we could have had for a deal with the devil or an angel. That would really be nice if we could get one of those. Is this a secret rumor? I can't can't shake that feeling. <laughs> Wonderful. Did I see the shop? I did. And there's a donation machine. So, let's go ahead and start throwing money at it and come out to play, my friend. You're good. There's lovers. The legit lovers. That's a good deal. And then the lovers, or he says in reverse, I swear he it's, it's my impression of him saying that backwards. Oh, damn. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I got to not, I got to not take damage, dude. If I want to survive. Now, admittedly, I haven't taken too many hits on this run, um, but we had two spirit hearts at one point, so, you know, I'm not, not saying we're doing that good either. So, Samson. Hmm. Oh, God. Alright, let's um let's rock and roll. We'll play that blood bank a little more maybe and get that cooking. There's IV bag. IV bag good. Probably not best though. I don't know. <laughs> ah. Boy, oh boy. Long haul. Spider-Man. Oh, okay. 
had. No. Okay. Well, there goes our sweet damage boost from Immaculate Poop. down the beast. <laughs> Gotta deal with the angel. Hey, it's a damage up. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain about that. No, sir, not me. <clears throat> Don't want to commit to this lover's card too early and be out some HP I could otherwise really want. Big. I'll see you around, my friend. <laughs> now we get some red hearts. Now we're kind of feeling a little safer. Huh? Damage up is real good. Real happy to have that. Placenta regening. Good. That actually went as about as well as it could have. These guys turn into flies, that's pretty good. Oh. Well, well, well. The soul of Isaac here could be massive. Isaac is very good for business. Oh my god. Oh, the pony here would have been probably a bailout weapon for sure. One enemy at a time, my friends. One enemy at a time. Dreamcatcher? Oh, well, okay. I guess we got Dreamcatcher. Now that there's anything wrong with it, probably would have picked it up anyway. I, uh. This wasn't where I was planning on going just yet. Kamikaze. It won't do. Kamikaze will not work for me. And this was actually a secret room, I think. I reckon. Now, now we're gonna play a little. <clears throat> <clears throat> a little bit of that aggressive game. Rotten baby, I can actually live with 100%. Because that's damage, brother. That's damage, brother, man. We're good with that. We're not good with Kamikaze. Hello, Relic. Just like that, we found some things to really boost this run. <clears throat> so basically, I paid a Red Heart for Rotten Baby. And that's market value. 
on the deal with the devil uh, black market there. That's market value for Brown Baby. It's definitely not overpay. So even just a fly constantly being spawned. <laughs> Sorry, I must be a little stuffy today. I have to go shovel. Oh, okay. Hey, everybody. <coughs> I don't work today. So I'm playing some Isaac. But I also have to take care of other things, like shovel. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, let's rock and roll, I suppose. Sister Viz. Rotten Baby's going to be, um, I mean, it's seriously a massive help. I'm a big I'm a big lover of hey if it's DPS and you need any form of damage take it. Ron Baby absolutely fits those criteria and fits them well because it also scales with their damage. Which on this run yeah, oh. oh Oh man, even with 1.5 speed I didn't feel fast enough to dodge that. Got a wonderful tears up there from Mr. Deli. Got Scapular. Pray for a miracle. That's what I've been doing, son. Angel deals, two back-to-back. -back. I mean, that's kind of the break we needed. Now, <clears throat> admittedly, I don't think either... I think Blood of the Martyr was probably better than Scapular, but... Oh... Uh, Okay, I saw the item room. Sumptorium. Yeah. There's the first spirit heart from Relic. Hey, buddy, thank you for showing up. Big man. Relic used to be one of my favorite items. Just because I, I was when I was back in the Flash game, I thought it was just so good. Because I didn't really. Because you could have more than 12 HP. And so. <laughs> you'd be sitting there with like 40 HP, and then you'd get another Spirit Heart, and you're like, thank you, Relic. Good deal. Oh, he's small. Shade. Mm. Well, it's an item we get for free by going in the curse room, so I guess there's no like fundamental problem with it. Did I already vibe check if this was a secret room or not? No. Okay. Maybe I did. I honestly can't remember. I'm debating whether or not I should go eat before Womb and Beyond because I don't want to mauled and I know it's going to... There is the tears down pill. I was meaning to... I was hoping I'd see you again so I could say thank you in person. You Only, I, only realistically I have myself to thank though because, you know, you shouldn't take pills if your run's in a spot where pills could really hurt you. And that's true. You know, it's, it's absolutely true. I agree. It's not really going to stop me most times, but I wish it would. I wish it would. Oh! Okay, can't play chicken with these guys for very long. Oh. Hey, oh. Hoping Placenta just kind of starts giving us that overheal. Every minute we mess around, we get a health, so. Steam sale. Uh, hold on. That's not supposed to... What? What? You can't get... Because it's greed, this stays locked. Oh, God. That's so uncool. I don't like that very much. That was our chance to get in there. Hey, starter deck's great. 
But we have balls of steel pill in the rotation, and we know our tears down pill. Hmm, okay. Justice. Wow, got an eternal heart there. Oh my god, 33 minutes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let me in! Uh... <laughs> and there's not much more to say. You know, it's half an hour on Depths 2. It's just, you know, sometimes your runs, they require that. And we're not doing too good on the damage front. So. There you go. Placenta OP. There's some Torium. I mean, I do kind of have to play this beggar as much as I can, because he could give us something really good. Pentagram is something really good. That's great. That's real good. There's two cards there. I doubt I want tower over whatever that one was. <clears throat> oh, magician. Yeah, okay, it's not too crazy, is it? Little chest, stay little chest. Alright, that arcade was pretty good to us. Gave us Lil Chest and Pentagram. So now our damage is 5.8. Pentagram was a small damage up that time. What the heck? Mm. Alright. Just to get that deal with the Angel Chance up. It actually worked. We actually did get it to work, so. Does not happen every time. Oh, hello. Wish I waited for that <laughs> a blow up of the donation machine, but you know what? I'm here. Made it to mom, all right. Oh, the one spot I didn't want not want to be. I just willingly put myself there. Okay, good. I wanted her not to stomp on this poop until I shot it myself like an adult. Birdcage, doing the work, baby. Loving it. Oh my god. Um. In a streak of freak luck, we actually did manage to get a deal with the angel. That is divine intervention in the Bible. Bruh. Ugh. I... We've got divine intervention. <laughs> Blast assist. There's divine intervention for those curious. What's it gonna do for us on this run? I have no idea. There is close to a 90% chance I do not use it effectively even once on this run. But if you're a gambling man and you wanna take those odds, take those odds, my friend. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Oh, 
<laughs> I don't think blood pup. I mean, honestly, you just you don't make friends with that kind of thing. No, I don't. I don't see how inviting that into my life is gonna make this run better. Blood puppy, listen, I I really don't like you. <laughs> it's nothing personal. It's not like I don't like what you stand for. You know, I, I like the idea of something that's gets stronger and more rage induced the more enemies it kills. I just I don't like how it works in this game, that's all. But you're you're I like I like what you stand for, Blood Puppy. I like your ideals. Judgment. Um is that better than reverse judgment, which I don't think I've ever used. I'd rather take a pony use than take a heart of damage. Hmm. Well, I don't think we're gonna fall on such hard times on this floor that we're gonna need the rainbow poop. I'm hoping at least. I don't want to speak too soon, but. Man, I haven't been coughing in several days, and why is it the second I, I play the game, I'm like, oh yeah, time to cough, baby. Let's go. Hmm. I mean, this is the wrong way. I don't think the boss is right here, right? It would have to be the left, and that's it. Oh my god. Hmm. Kind of cringe game, not gonna lie. Making me take damage. I like the idea that some of the reverse cards bring, which is, you know, this effect lasts longer than just a room. It's a time limit. <clears throat> I kind of like that. There's Blast Assist. A range up. Um... Honestly, not really what I was hoping to see, but I don't want to sound ungrateful, so thank you. Mom's heels. Oh, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a challenge room for sure. Okay, never mind. We actually handled it pretty well. Ron Baby's just I'm loving it. Your your impact on this run, Ron Baby, is probably the most important piece of this run. Not even gonna lie to ya. Flight, flight is up there, don't get me wrong, obviously flight is definitely in that conversation. I... I'm just so... bad. <laughs> oh. These fellas. Okay, I don't know how I didn't take that hit, but he who complains is not me. I'm not complaining. I'm good. All right. Oh, this is the same arcade we just had. It's just now that we take full hearts, we get half the effect of our... Well, oh, this looks pretty good. Another hero font card? Okay, so we got four spirit hearts on deck. Oh, you are so dumb. 
talking about myself, okay? God. We're gonna do this. Because we got polar invisibility. It's the nail. Um... I mean, I like I, I'm not taking it. I'm good. Don't need it. The lovers. The lovers. Judgment. See you later, buddy. We got. Ten, we have a 50/50 chance of getting a deal with the Angel or not. Oh God. All right. Well. Listen here. I'm not too good at winning coin flips, but on a day like today, you just never know. So the proper play is actually to bring Judgment into the boss fight, uh, in the off chance you do get, oh hello. In the off chance you do get a deal with the angel. Let's let's boost it up even more. 55. Okay. It's no small amount of chance. It's definitely a real chance. I won't even I won't even lie. We gotta bring the judgment card with you though. And let's get some money. Okay, this is there we go. Okay, that's all we need. That's all the money we need. Wow, I just walked right into that like a fool. <clears throat> all right, well. I had so much time to dodge that. I'm like, it's coming straight for us. <laughs> God, sorry, I can't mute my mic, but I'm, I'd have to pause the game, and I just not in the mood to do that right now. The boss fight, the boss fight of the of the century. Oh, I didn't see homie behind there. Let's deal with the angel. Oh, no, sorry, deal with the devil. Mom's knife. Judge. Okay. Take like little Abaddon as well. Just cause he's he seems kinda chill. Oh, I didn't know you chill like that, bro. My bad. Got mom's knife. I think that's probably gonna help our chances. <coughs> All things considered. Lunch up, HP up. So, today's actually special to, for me, I guess. Well, it's actually really not. Today's unique because it's one of the day, one of the rare days that I am recording a video that the day is also going to be posted on because I ran out of my spank bank of uh, backup runs. Wait a minute. There we go. My brain was hurting trying to figure out that one. So today is a Friday, and I just watched Thursday Night Football against the 49ers and Seahawks. I gotta tell you, I've been rooting for both of those teams this year, and um, I'm not a Seahawks or like a, a 49ers fan exclusively. That's not what I mean, but like, they're both just two teams I want to see do well. So it's kind of hard watching them play against each other because it's like, and it's like you're children. It's like, who do you root for? Um, in the end, I just wanted a good game. There's a damage up and a look up. That's wonderful. 
And that's what, that's kind of not really what I got. I got a good defensive game by the 49ers. I mean, that defense looked lights out. And I got to tell you, the the story that Brock Purdy is going to have is, is a curse, honestly. It's not a gift. They're comparing him to Tom Brady, which is just, I mean, that's just so unfair for him. You don't want to be compared to Tom Brady in your first year. He was like the last pick of this draft, gets to play now as the rookie, has been doing wonderful things. I'm not kidding you. I, I love him. Our speed is irrelevant because we actually don't get hurt for that. Um, I love what he's been doing. I like that he's winning games and playing well. I just feel bad for him that they're making him, like, if, what, if he's not Tom Brady, he's a failure? Like, dude, there's only one Tom Brady, okay? It's not, let's not call the, this young 22-year-old kid. You know, it's not. Don't put that much pressure on one guy. That's not fair. But he did really well last night. Um, I really want to see the Seahawks make it to the playoffs, man. I mean, Geno Smith, it'd be perfect for him. I, I, you don't get a better storyline than that. You know, a perennial backup got to play in one playoff game where he was the guy who uh, bounced Tom Brady out of the playoffs that year. Like. He gets another chance at it. He's de he's for sure going to be the comeback player of the year, or most improved or something. I don't know. He's definitely going to get his roses at some point this year. But uh, yeah, it was a good, it was a really good game. I just wish it was higher scoring. But I understand that the 49ers defense is, you know, they don't really want to, they don't want it to be for higher scoring. Their their stats are just absolutely crazy as far as like how how good they are preventing scoring. So, you know. Uh, Nick Bosa was doing his thing last night. Geno Smith just, he was in trouble pretty much all night. But good game to watch. And, uh, you know, that's, oh, the Emperor card was dropped and I did not pick that up. That is an oof. Wow. Best, best run ever? Because we have Mom's Knife? Question mark. Comments say, relax, you had mom's knife. This run was really good. <laughs> you had mom's knife, you're fine. Ooh, there we go. <coughs> Reverse moon. I have the cult. How does that work with mom's knife? If it doesn't, it's just a damage up, and I can live with that. Oh, there's flight. Oh, this is a red room bombino. Oh, you. just disgusting piece of filth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Our deal with the devil chance. No. Oh, thank goodness. I know, I know, I know, I know. This is a joke, though, guys. Obviously, I know there's no deal with the devil. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. Get me out of this room. Birdcage doing work. Let's go. Love it, buddy. Keep it up.
My sixth sense is telling me there's a secret room connected to this very room. Alright, I'm gonna throw it. Lazarus Rags. Every time I try checking the map, it just gets me into trouble. I gotta stop doing that. Oh my god. Dead tooth. <coughs> ah! Well, we managed to make this one work. Thankful, thankfully, we got mom's knife. Kind of, kind of a pretty sweet blessing there, but really, I you got to give your roses to Rotten Baby and the crew before we got Mom's knife. Um, yeah. How about no? How about we just call that a wrap? Ooh, that was win 88. I'm feeling great. 88. Ugh. Ugh. All right. I'll see you guys in the. Uh, well, I'll see y'all later, probably.